Hey guys, hey guys, Del Hunts here once again, and today I've got a fishing video for you. And it's not only a fishing video, but it's also a video about just the beauty of Dollarama for a fisherman. Because at Dollarama, you can just get some great deals on uh, on some of the stuff that would cost you loads of money at Canadian Tire Cabela's or a fishing hole or something like that. But Dollarama just has everything for cheap. Like the name implies, and yeah, so let's get started here. Um, I bought all this stuff here that you see in front of you for $11 flat at Dollar Hunt. Exactly $11. Here in Manitoba, tax is 13%, so yeah, it's only 10 50 you know, around there before tax. Uh, no, like $10 actually. Um, anyway, yeah, so let's get started. So this is just a big, I think this would be a suspending hook, plug, you see the little lip I got on it, yeah, and it's red, black on the back there, like red in the front, kind of a ruby red, and then a sil shiny, shiny silver, all throughout the back, two thirds, and so that is... That was a dollar plus tax. Everything here, when I said in price, it's just, I'm just gonna say uh, the retail price at Dollarama. Um, so yeah, that was a dollar. Go ahead and throw this on the tackle box right there. Um, next, we have this, another Mako fishing tackle plug. This one is gonna be a deep diver, as you can see by the lip there. I've cut all these packages open already, as you can tell. Um, yeah, like I said, this one was also a dollar. That's the lip is it's got a pretty nice size lip. The key rings right there. Um, so yeah, that's gonna dive pretty low and just wobble pretty good. Good for trolling, you know. Nice crankbait. Um, so yeah, that's orange with uh, I don't know, like kind of gray spots on the back then yellow shiny shiny yellow on the sides uh, and white dish whitish gray on the bottom two treble hooks barbed the other hook that I showed had three treble hooks all barbed um, okay next uh, I got this gel that you put on like spoons live artificial baits uh, any kind of stuff this it's for bass. It has, it says triple action, sound, scent, and sight. So the sound, I guess, would be the sonic sound crystals, I guess. Um, I guess kind of like a pop rock deal right there. Um, and then the scent, well, it's a scented gel. So there's that. The sight, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of sparkly if you look at it. So that's. That's that. That was two fifty. Um, I'll just go on the bottom of the tackle box. Uh, here's a nice, nice rubber crayfish. You know, for fishing off the dock or something, for walleye or whatever. Um, a nice big, big barbed hook. It's a backwards swimmer, the way it should be. And if you look under the tail here, if you push it. That, that hole comes out to put the leader through, or tie it to, I guess. Um, got a big lead weight inside. It's pretty soft rubber. I mean, it's jiggly, which is good, because you don't have to move a lot. Um, that was a dollar twenty-five. Uh, I'm just gonna put the pack back together here if I can. in the rubber tray right there perfect okay next got a well that was that was Mako as well as crayfish here um, I got a typhoon fishing lure this is 
Oh, this is Mako as well. So it's Typhoon, so I guess that's... I don't know if that's the, the model or like the... Yeah, it's the model. I thought it was like a subdivision or something. But no, that's... That's like a little kind of perch. Um, come on. Sorry, you to fall asleep there. Uh, that's like kind of like a perch spinner. See the double spoons? Or double spinners, I guess. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Not a buzz bait, not like a top water buzz bait. But I'm gonna put it in with my buzz bait. That's the only compartment it'll fit in. And last, but certainly not least, is probably my favorite deal. This filleting knife. Comes with a plastic sheath. It actually floats, there's a little hollow compartment in there. Just put this plug in. I guess you could store some small stuff in there or just have the air in there. Like, I'm probably gonna rubber cement that shut so it won't pop off at all. And it'll float nicely. So if I drop it in the water. Um, that was $2. That's that's just a fantastic deal. It's decent sharp, actually. Um, the blade is labeled stainless steel China. So, obviously made in China, but this thing cuts hairs right here. This is... Well, sort of cuts hairs, but I mean you can sharpen it up. I don't know how well it holds an edge because I haven't used it yet, but it's a nice little blade. I mean, for two dollars, that's you know a nice present for someone who's just just getting into fishing or just you know doesn't do much fishing but has fishing stuff. So that is um, let's put that on all of my taco box. That's. That's the filling knife. Oh wait, also has it absolutely like barely any flex. Not really any flex at all. Can't even really call it a flex. Um, but a hey, big deal. It's a two dollar knife. Um, yeah. So that's this is my nice new filling knife. And yeah, this whole deal here was eleven dollars on the nose, like. It was 11.02, and since there's no more pennies here in Manitoba, we, uh, we round, round off the mirrors five cents, um, so that was $11 exactly. Yeah, so I, rec I recommend all fishermen out there, go to Dollarama, buy some cheap Dollarama crap, because they were good. I mean, just the other day, my friend caught a big, like, 28-inch pike, I don't know, like, that's not a it's not a great big pike, but it's a nice sized pike on uh, on a dollar ammo hook. And yeah, like they're just, you know, nice to have in your taco box. Some of them are really crappy and they're just, you know, a good gang gift or something, you know. Don't want someone stalking. Uh, so yeah, that's it for now. Dell Hunts out. <laughs>